I think we we obviously are in a again another crossroad where how do you how do we diversify out of the commodity sector because that has been the mainstay uh, in the last decade and since the global financial crisis this has been the big question for us and when you talk about manufacturing we shouldn't be thinking about it in the kind of the old model which is inter, you know integration from end to end because that's not the way the global value chain world works anymore we have to find where is our specialization so restructuring the economy uh, away from commodity based to again you know how do you uh, revitalize manufacturing but i would say that we also need to uh, look at services sector right now services sector is already accounting for more than 50% of our economy but a lot of it is still the traditional services such as trade uh, and uh, transportation uh, construction we need to think about the modern services sector whether it's financial business services because that's the that's the future for our competitiveness as well how do you have efficient services sector to make your whole economy all parts of your economy more competitive i think the the future of indonesia's growth is going to require a, a, a large increase in investment especially private investment uh, because uh, we need to have invest investment to increase productivity and efficiency and at the moment while you we do have growth in investment we are not seeing the kind of what we call greenfield investments it's more you know expanding existing investments we're not seeing new investments come in and the bottom line if you i'm sure uh, your surveys are showing and other surveys are showing policy uncertainty and predictability is becoming uh, an issue for both domestic and foreign investors. So that's why they, a lot of them are domestic, for instance, if you ask them, they are adopting a wait and see approach. On the one hand, if you talk about reducing the cost of doing business, I would say there is progress, you know, in terms of reducing red tape, uh, making uh, more transparent. But on the other hand, I, I do think that there's a lack of comprehensive approach, if you like. I think what's missing is, is a holistic picture about how, uh, how do we want to be more competitive. Uh, and that, that requires you not to, look, take, not to take a sectoral approach, but to understand where is the bottlenecks and where are the issues that we need to deal with to become more competitive and more equitable. I think we have to be clear, uh, okay, are we open for business or not? And if we're open for business, uh, w what does that mean? Yeah, uh, Whether it's about foreign ownership, whether it's about uh, I, another big issue is about uh, foreign workers working here. I believe that uh, uh, openness means, yes, we do have to take care of our national interest, but it's not necessarily by building walls. Because in today's world with technological disruption and with the way everybody, every other country is going, it doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, what you need to do is actually uh, develop your capacity while you learn from whatever foreign uh, influences that come in. We may already be seeing the beginnings of being in caretaker mode. I would say that we, we probably should focus on the infrastructure uh, issue, which in a sense it's already rolling. So if as much as possible, uh, they can make sure that whatever's already been started uh, will be completed uh, and uh, address the issues that have come up uh, in, in this public-private partnership and the rollout of infrastructure, which has a lot to do with policy certainty and what the private sector are actually concerned about. Basically, the issue of crowding out. The private sector feel that they're being crowded out by the state-owned enterprises. If we can get that part at least right, you need to address the infrastructure bottlenecks. In the next five years, uh, whoever's going to be in government uh, can have more leeway to undertake the necessary reforms which are going to be more uh, medium term. I believe that uh, reform, while it's difficult, will be forthcoming in, in the near future. What I would advise uh, investors, who, especially those who are always worried about too much uncertainty, is that yes, that's, this is the nature of, of doing business, but uh, I think it's gonna get better, uh, not, not get worse.